Hey everybody, welcome back to Thinking of Pi. Today I'll be talking about buzzers. I'll be showing you an active buzzer and a passive buzzer. Active buzzers have a built-in oscillator, so they'll only play sound at one specific frequency. The passive buzzer requires an external oscillator. I'll be using PWM to change the frequency of the buzzer so it can play different sounds. Let's take a look at the circuit and I'll show you how this works. All right, so I've already got most of this put together already. These are the two buzzers that we'll be using. This one is going to be our passive buzzer, and this is the active buzzer. They're, they look uh, very, very similar. However, the passive buzzer has a little circuit board on the bottom here. The passive one does not. So I'm gonna put this one in first. And it's just gonna go right there. And the rest of it's pretty much wired up the same as an LED circuit. We've got a couple of resistors here for the buzzer as well as the button. Um, the buzzer is wired over here to five volts. And I also have a transistor right here that will amplify the signal. Um, other than that, not much to it. Um, you can look at the schematic if you want to see more details on how exactly it goes together. But I'm going to take you over to the computer and I'll show you what this thing can do. All right, here we are logged into the Pi through BNC. I've got two different programs set up. Uh, one's going to be for the active buzzer, one's going to be for the passive buzzer. So let's take a look at the first one. Um, it's really simple. I'm not going to go through this in too much detail. Um, pretty much all we're doing is waiting for a button press, turning the buzzer on, and turning the buzzer off when the button's released. So let's run this one. Pretty simple. And like I said before, we only get the one frequency out of that thing. So let's swap that out and put in the passive buzzer. I'm just going to make sure that we get these pins lined up with the wires. There it goes. That should do it. And we'll just go over here to the second one. Um, this one's a little bit more complex. Um, kind of the same thing here though, we're going to be waiting for a button press, but then instead of playing a specific frequency, we're going to be doing um, a variation here where it um, ramps it up and then brings it back down very quickly to make it sound kind of like an alarm. And that's all there is to it. Now I've got a third one that I want to do here. I'm actually going to be making the buzzer play some music. However, it is pretty complex and there's a lot of information that I want to cover. So we're going to take a break and I'll be posting a second video that will cover music in depth. But anyways, that's about all there is to it with buzzers. Pretty simple. Next week I'll be talking about um, potentiometers and how to measure voltage. I think that's going to be pretty exciting, so be sure to tune in next week. Um, but until then, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. would love to see your comments, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks!